All right, I'd like to welcome everybody out tonight uh, for our online call. We are talking about black pepper. Hello. Black pepper, um, amazing essential oil, and um, Jade's going to lead us in that um, fantastic discussion. And um, yeah, so without further ado, I'll turn the time over to Jade to tell us all about that black pepper. Thank you. So you guys, um, has anybody experienced black pepper before? Anybody on this call? No? <laughs> well, well, good. You're in the right okay, place. That's good. <laughs> so we'll share our screen with you here. Has, that, has anybody used uh, black pepper? Um, smell it. You have it with you? If you have it, you can go ahead and smell it. If you do have it, go it. ahead and um, get it out. Smell it. Black pepper it, smells like the black pepper, actually. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. Can everybody see that? For those of you who are listening to this, um, this is at jbaldon.com slash black pepper. Um, we'll also have this video there when we're done. Yeah. All righty, so just in a nutshell, black pepper helps with digestion and detoxification. It helps with uh, the lymphatics, helps things move along, basically. Um, and it helps with muscles and it increases circulation. Uh, if you use it with clothes, uh, at one drop under the tongue or on the tongue, it will help reduce the cigarette cravings. And of course, you can use it for food flavoring. It's pepper. Um, it's it's going to be very strong though. And um, the thing I'm excited about is it helps unearth and resolve uh, repressed emotions or suppressed emotions. Okay. So you can see on the screen, that's what we're going to talk about today. Anybody with any questions, you're welcome to um, type it into the group chat or you're welcome to unmute yourself and just jump on. Um, you know, otherwise I'll just plow forward, but I'd love to have a discussion. Have any questions or comments. All right. Okay. So let's move down to what the black pepper can do for us. All righty. So this is a wonderful, wonderful oil for some of your friends or family members who have, um, you know, certain uh, cravings like cigarettes cravings or even, um, you know, serious addictions. Or even a loss of appetite. Mm -hmm. Yep, loss of appetite. And this will help uh, clean out cells. So that's what I really like. Um, for those who are ready to um, face just really buried emotions. This is a wonderful oil to help them open up and uh, face some of the uglies that they have buried and then resolve it for good and then they can move on with their life, okay? So it helps them feel safe. So the black pepper from doTERRA is actually um, taken from the unripe fruit. Uh, so, um, you know, it's not your dried up black pepper but it does smell like black pepper <laughs> like we have pictured uh -huh. <laughs> yes yeah but this is the best way because if you see the unripe fruit you don't recognize it as pepper but that's what uh, they that's how where they extract it from for those of you who haven't smelled black pepper it smells like you know you open yes. up a yeah a Just black a black pepper, pepper um, shaker, shaker. Mm -hmm. it's exactly that it same exactly smell like that yeah. And it tastes like that too if you put on yes, and it's quite like a, spicy. A gravy or a steak or something. Mm -hmm. So, but the, I just love black pepper and what it does for people, and especially for the brains. Um, if you have uh, any oils that have monoterpenes and high levels of sesquiterpenes, you know, it just means that it's going to help restore the brain functions. It helps clean the receptor sites and helps the brain uh, cells talk and communicate with each other for me i believe that the oil the body knows how to heal um, and i believe that if we can get rid of toxins the body can communicate better if the receptor sites on the outside of cells can be removed um, some removed can be cleaned and all the toxins removed then the cells can communicate through electrical pulses and through oh, nice. chemicals oh, cool. chemical hormones yep so that's the idea so we're not really broken we're actually just toxic so if we can get rid of the toxins our brain functions better so you can see in a person um, you know if they have a lot of toxins they can't think clearly 
So a lot of people that have these addictions, you know, you really want to help them, but it's sort of like they can't make that connection between, you know, not doing the bad thing and helping them, their body heal. But um, this oil actually is something very significant and I've had lots of experience with people, um, you know, I don't smoke or um, take drugs, but a lot of friends have shared with me that they were able to um, recover from that addiction and uh, actually find themselves again. So that's really awesome. Alrighty guys, I don't want to go just skip plowing forward. If you have any questions, you're welcome. Welcome to stop me and we can have a discussion, okay? So can everybody see the, the screen there? Yeah? Okay, so for those that are, who are listening in, um, you know, we're looking at the uh, post on black pepper here. And so the very first thing here, we talk about the body. So black pepper is very warming to the body. I'm going to pause for a little yep, bit. Okay. Um, does anybody have anything they want to share? Any experiences with black pepper? You know, a few more people have joined us. It's okay if you don't want to, okay. that's fine. All right. um, don't just, want to make anybody. Yeah, I just want to make sure everybody has a chance yep. to, to share. Yeah, okay. So it's warming. So think of warming oils as warming to the joints and warming to the heart. But because we're focusing on the body, so let's talk about how it warms your body, okay? So it helps with circulation, blood circulation. So especially people that have a lost circulation in their fingers, their hands, their feet, this is a wonderful oil for that. Um, you know, you can actually just put three drops of black pepper and then one drop of thyme um, in fractionated coconut oil and just massage the hands and the feet. Okay, use it regularly and consistently and it will help, you know, bring more blood uh, into the extremities and the blood of course carries nutrients for that body part okay so it's feeding the cells in the hands and the feet all right and because of that now you want to make this is a hot oil so if you yeah. get it on your hands it's you warm. want to make sure you don't touch your eyes yeah. or pick your nose or no, anything no, like that's that. not a good idea yeah <laughs> just be careful with that yeah. Um, just remember that if putting on your feet is okay. Just put some socks over that. Uh -huh. um, and after an hour or so, it'll all be absorbed. Yeah, and you'll find that's right. Your, your socks may smell a little bit black pepperish. <laughs> um, all the spiciness yeah. will be gone. Especially winter time, guys. You can uh, put black pepper uh, on the feet, time on the feet, and then soak your feet in a bath uh, you know, of Epsom salt and warm water. And it'll really help the oils drive in, helps warm up the body. So that's really good. Okay. So the people in the Southern Hemisphere now, they're going into winter. So that will be good for you guys. And of course, if it goes into your system, it helps with your, um, your whole body, warming everything up, helping with your immunity. So that's good. Alrighty. So the rheumatics, people that have rheumatics, this supports um, the muscles and joints and that system of the body. Okay, and the body um, really responds <clears throat> well to black pepper. So if you put one drop of black pepper, four drops of marjoram, and four drops of lavender, now blend that together with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil, you can actually rub it on your knuckles, your joints, and um, anywhere else that you're hurting, okay? Um, that will help your body, um, you know, to support them for any of the issues with the rheumatics. So if you know anybody, that would be awesome. Okay, so you know a lot of people have arthritic pains and things, and we want to support that body system. Um, of course, the muscles and joints as well. So there's another blend. So you can try out different blends to see which one um, works better for you. So this is wonderful. It's black pepper, two drops. Uh, one drop of ginger, three drops of coriander, four drops of helichrysum, and six drops of Roman chamomile, and four drops of patchouli. And you can mix it all together in a empty 15 ml um, oil bottle, and then you can actually just apply it on when you need it, okay? And, um, and find comfort that way. Now remember, any sort of, um, so arthritis is an inflam you know, inflammatory concern, and our body produces it, um, or has inflammation because we have fungus and invaders. 
So we start cleaning out our cells, uh, we actually find that our body actually has less pain, okay? Because our body is uh, has inflammation because it's searching for that um, moving, changing target, which is the fungus, okay? So that's its natural response. Now, does anybody have any stories of um, maybe their friends or someone with arthritis or rheumatics um, and something that they've done? Any sort of a blend or oil that they've tried that that's worked? Yes, Erin? I um, probably a few months ago made this blend for a friend um, who has fibromyalgia. Or I'm sorry, I don't know what, how to say it in another way. But um, that's okay. Fibromyalgia, yeah, go on. Okay, and um, anyways, this has really helped her. And one of the ingredients was the black pepper, and I didn't know that what black pepper was exactly going to do. Now I know what it's going to do. But she said this helped her so much that it was basically like a miracle potion for her because she'd been in so much pain, and she was so happy with all of this, and she's been moving around more and losing some weight because of this, she told me. So it's really helped her a lot. Yeah, that's awesome. But you know, it's interesting because um, the oils don't just go in and help with just that one problem. It will go in and help do other things too. Um, and so that's, that's amazing because how you said that she lost weight too. So that's, that's fantastic because our natural um, state is healthy weight healthy everything it's all it's all balanced everything is balanced that's our natural state so anytime we we heal in one area we heal in another area too because we're a holistic being everything is interconnected interrelated and connected so it's never like a, a separate disconnected thing to another okay if that makes sense okay. that, that's a great story yeah. Th thanks for sharing that that's fantastic yeah really well, happy. we we also know so, some people that you know have stiff hands and stuff Mm -hmm. um, with uh, arthritic hands, you know, a fantastic way to apply that. Um, you can put this um, blend together and give them the aroma touch oh, uh, technique right on the hands. Yes. That's one way to um, move it in. And if you don't know how to do that, you can go to aromatouch.com or attend one of our uh, Aroma Touch yes. trainings. Um, just move that straight into their hands and yeah. they'll be able to. Well, Aaron will know like how to do it. Send it all those people in. Move their hands again. Yeah. Yep, that's right. I've done what that. I was going to say, June 3rd, here, you come here. Yay. Ohio. I'm excited. <laughs> June 3rd in Ohio. No, so, I, yeah. everybody from Ohio who's listening, make sure you're signed up yeah. for that. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so I've done that with people, uh, you know, older ladies at church and sitting there and just massaging their hands and they're loving it because, oh, look, I can make a fist now. And I'm like, okay, let's do the other hand. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. debilitating when, mm -hmm. you know, arthritis or something gets really yeah. tough. Um, and you can use these oils to support that system, the muscles and muscle and joint systems. Mm -hmm. And and when you find you, you take care of that, it, it relieves the symptoms. Mm -hmm. So now this is exciting. This is really exciting for everybody here. Um, you know, hot oils, especially oils like black pepper or cassia, it actually helps with... Um, you know, old injuries. It's very interesting that our body knows um, that, you know, it can go and re-repair old injuries. Sometimes our old injury has been um, repaired wrong. Um, and the oils, once we release all the negative emotions that are attached to that body part or, you know, stuck in that area, um, actually our body can flood the area with more blood flow and, um, you know, take things apart and put things back together again. I'll give you an example. My friend, uh, she has had a knee injury from a sports accident of some sort for 30 years. And uh, she said under that skin, the skin of one of her knees, it's this, um, the muscles, it just was a little bit like bacon, she said. It was wavy and it wasn't smooth and that knee always gave her problems. And she said that after she used oils for a couple of months, her knee started swelling up and she thought there was something wrong. And, um, you know, when she was just about to go to the doctors, you know, after about three days of that, it started to um, go down. And so when the swelling went down, she noticed that her knee was the same as the other knee and that um, wavy bacon 
uh, her, like skin underneath was gone. And then uh, she tried to walk on it and she said it felt good. And then she decided she wants to go for a bit of a run and she did. And she said she came back and it was so nice. It's still so great. And uh, so ever since then, she's been running for the last few years and, you know, she's got her health back. And it's just interesting how our body, when we have released negative emotions in certain areas of our body, um, the, the body is able to be free to go, oh, look at that. We did do a good job here. Um, you know, we didn't see that we didn't do a good job. And so it goes in and it floods that area with more blood flow. So sometimes it looks like it's going backwards, but it's not. Our, our bodies are amazing. And um, your Dr. Susan Lawton, she speaks about that too. So old injuries that's from surgery or from whatever, and it's healed kind of funny, healed kind of wrong, and things are stiff inside and tight, and it's just not right. And, and you know, the oils can go in and help us do that. But the thing is, I feel like we have to help our bodies remove some negative energy, negative emotion that are, um, you know, sitting around in that area, and, and actually, you know, it can repair itself. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, if you look at the um, the body language, okay, so you know your shoulders mean you know carry burdens, or you know your knees mean you know inflexibility, things like that. If you look at that, if you release and heal from that emotion, and you're releasing that emotion out of that knee area, and then it frees the energy up to go in and, and repair where it needs to repair. Mm. Yeah. Another. Um Thing, it's a terror product actually, the enzyme complex. Oh, that's so that's enzymes right. are really fantastic to help break down your food, but what a lot of people don't know is also helps with tissue, mm -hmm. um, tissue repair. Yep. So it can help break down tissue so and form tissue. If you're so taking it on an empty stomach. To, yep. Yeah, and mm -hmm. if you're taking a, that terrazyme regularly, that will also help um, your body be able to heal from old injuries. That's so, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any questions or comments so far? I have a question. Yep. Um, the terrorism has black pepper in it, correct? Uh, no, it I doesn't, know. I think. Which one has? I'm pretty sure one of them. Unguard Plus, Unguard Plus has the black pepper. I'm sorry, which one was it? Unguard Plus. It's the Unguard Soft Gels. Hmm. Well, one of them is giving me well, one of the LLV or the Terrazyme, I'm sorry, I can't remember which one it is right now. It's giving me some indigestion. Should I be taking then just like an empty capsule with maybe fractionated coconut oil to help that or no? Um, what is it like the GX Assist um, or PB Assist? No, neither one of those. I know it's either the LLV, one of those, or it's the Terrazyme. I was thinking the terrazyme had black specks in it, and I was thinking that was pepper. Uh, the the, um, the terrazyme doesn't have any essential oils in it. It's all just yeah, enzymes. enzymes. And I'm not yeah. quite sure about that. I think you might want to just do an experiment and figure out which one it is for sure, and then we can talk about that um, tomorrow, I think, when we yeah. chat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking it was with black pepper. That's why I asked. <laughs> Sorry. And and adding add it, sure. and taking it with food sometimes will help that. As yeah, well. depends. Yeah. Well, sorry, I don't know what to do about that <laughs> yet. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. So did that's a good question, though. Really that. good. Yeah. Did everyone um, have? Uh, well, did you understand what I mean with the old injuries? You're good with that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Does so anybody else have any experiences with old injuries um, healing? Now I'm going to tell you old injuries mean um, old heart injuries, you know, as in heartbroken, all those uh, feelings, all that is old injury too. Yeah. So we'll go to that soon. Okay. So the next thing is appetite stimulant. Sometimes we do need uh, something to help uh, stimulate appetite, especially people that have gone through a lot of illness or chemotherapy. Uh, they, they lose their appetite. They don't want to eat anymore. So it's um, just lemon oil, two drops, two drops of uh, black pepper, 
and you can put that in a diffuser and help uh, the person you know, smell it. It just helps them feel more energy and um, lift their mood up and perhaps have more interest in food. Yep, so you know, I know that Erin's a, a nurse here. You, you've seen people that have been very sick and um, not, not had an appetite, right? Yeah, that's one thing that we can do for them. Okay, any questions or comments? I, I was thinking of that for my mom, but I don't want to stimulate my appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I'm sure that it's going to balance. <laughs> you know, it'll help you with digestion. How about that? There you go. <laughs> I really like this um, the fact that we have such pure oils and it doesn't uh, push our bodies to the extreme. It Just, helps them uh, it, go back to homeostasis. Mm -hmm. So we have people in Taiwan that need to um, gain weight and they use slim and sassy right and it's really interesting my friend she's a dietitian she said all the you know the anorexic and patients and clients that she has um she uses the slim and sassy for them so it helps them remember how it feels to be hungry again or like i've been in a class where someone asked what do we do for um constipation digestion <laughs> what do we do for if you have the runs digestion yeah so it helps you um, you know <laughs> that homeostasis, the balance. Erin? Yeah. Um, like you were saying about the Slim and Sassy, um, in Pittsburgh at that summit, one of the um, diamonds was speaking and she is pregnant, very apparently pregnant. Hmm. And she was talking about her favorite oil is Slim and Sassy. And I was a little bit shocked that she was using that while pregnant. But she was again telling about how safe these things are. And she said that she had so much nausea and vomiting before with her prior pregnancy. But with this one, she's been doing slim and sassy from the very beginning. And she's had no nausea or vomiting. So, and she said it's helped with people's body images. And that even a lot of people who are bulimic or anorexic, taking slim and sassy actually has helped them gain weight. So again, how you said that it, brings your body to homeostasis it's so true because your body these oils know they're so awesome like this you know and just it just shows even that our western medicine it's just it's ridiculous and that just god knows with these oils and so whatever is wrong whatever needs to be fixed it's going to do that we don't even have to know or understand it yeah, that's right, Erin, because there's things in our body that's happening that we're unaware of and the oils are very intelligent. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Cell selective. All right. So the next thing we want to talk about is. You there, say um, like yeah. That? With the slim sassy, like, um, <laughs> like Kayla was saying, the appetite, the stimulated appetite. Um, again, I think, you know, you, you, you might find that um, if you already have an appetite, yeah. it's not going to increase it more. Because we have had those weight management classes. Uh -huh. we, we teach the five um, wellness classes. And, you know, when we get to the weight management class, some ladies are like, oh, I don't, I don't want to um, lose any weight. I'm, I'm already yeah. too skinny. And, uh, but it's not about that. It's weight management. It's not yes. about losing weight or gaining weight necessarily. It's about getting to your right Mm -hmm. um wait i yeah, guess that's you could right. say uh -huh. yeah. yeah awesome thanks honey um okay so bumps and bruises you can use the black pepper for that too guys uh so three black uh, three drops of black pepper four drops of cypress uh three drops of lavender so all of these oils on their own helps with that too but if it's together it's more powerful all right, so mix that together. <laughs> a class this afternoon and a lady showed me a big bruise on her arm. <laughs> so I said, uh, lavender, cypress. Um, yeah, so that would be good. If you have it all over and it's very severe, uh, then you want to soak yourself or soak that area with Epsom salt too. The reason why is it helps relax the muscles and helps your muscles absorb that more. And, um, you know, water drives the oils deeper. So that's a really good thing about the oils. Okay, because molecular, molecularly, it's very small. Mm. Okay. 
So a lot of people who are new to um, oils, and they, you said, you know, rub this oil on your head and then hop in the shower. They're thinking, oh, I'll just it go to wash it off. Yeah. But it actually helps drive it oh, in. So yeah, definitely. You need some quick relief. And mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, for digestion now. Okay, the two drops of black pepper and five drops of marjoram. It's another thing we can do to help with digestion. I know we have a lot of blends. We have the Digest Zen blend. Um, it's great too, but you know, sometimes it's a different issue. And so this will help with that. Okay, I think this is a bit more of a severe issue. Uh, so black pepper, marjoram, and fractionated coconut oil and rub it on your tummy. Okay, and remember to do it clockwise so you can encourage um, your, the poop to go the right way. <laughs> I can't say it different. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, okay, you can um, add digest zen, um, sorry, black pepper to your digest zen or other oils for the digestive system. Um, it just gives it a bit of a boost, okay? Because I know that the digest zen um, oil works really well, but there's sometimes certain people you need to shake it up and change it up a little bit for them because it's a totally different issue for them than uh, other people mm -hmm. yeah okay so now this is has anybody tried that before use, use black, black pepper, black pepper um, for digestive relief no? yeah i have it's awesome yeah it does make sense I mean, yeah Sometimes um, you have a certain sort of tummy ache and you just need to have black pepper in the mm -hmm. home garden. Yeah. So for the, it's interesting because in Vietnam, they, the people, um, ladies that have just barely given birth, they put a lot of black pepper in a lot of their foods to keep the insides warm and, um, you know, so that they don't catch stuff. So that makes sense, you know, now that I know about black pepper. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. The to boost the blood pressure. Sometimes our blood pressure is too low. Um, so one drop of black pepper, four drops of wild orange, and you can just mix it together in your palms and just smell it, inhale that, or rub it on the bottom of your feet. Yeah. Okay. I guess one of the ways we could um, maybe say this is, you know, it's you're thinking about blood pressure, that has to do with your circulatory mm -hmm. system, right? Yes. And your blood flow and everything. So black pepper and uh, some other oils do this as yeah. well help with circulation. Yep. So, you know, if you if you ever run into an ailment or a disease or something that you want to address, you just think of the body the system, system that that you want to um, support. Mm -hmm. And you think of the oils that support that body system. Yeah. So sometimes we, we want to say it quickly and we say like use black pepper for uh, yep. low blood pressure. Um, but it's you know you, if you see the bigger picture you, mm -hmm. you look at the circulatory system yeah and it helps you solve a lot of problems that that's um, right you wouldn't know otherwise yeah well thank you thanks for that reminder we still have to practice this guys <laughs> all righty so the next one is runner's rub um you know for people who like to run sometimes there um this helps them with their muscles and their calves and their cramping it just kind of softens and uh, help warms the muscle up. So two drops of black pepper and two drops, uh, five drops of rosemary and mix that up and rub it on your calves before you run and then afterwards to, to help you with recovery. Okay, so if you have some serious runners in um, that you know, you can introduce that to them. Do you think this might also work with um, like weight lifters? Oh, um, that, for sure. That's right. That's right. It's for just good for muscles. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Yeah, because it it's very be warming. It's good. good. Keep in mind. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, for recovery. Because I know after I do weights, you know, I'm, I'm like shaking. Let's see your muscles. No. <laughs> Show everybody your muscles. No, embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. My sister right. complains. She's like, you've got tiny arms. Okay, fine. <laughs> Working on it. <laughs> okay. So cold and flu, uh, when you have that, this is an oil to support your immunity. Okay, and help you open airways. Mm -hmm. So two drops of black pepper and two drops of eucalyptus, two drops of basil, two drops of ginger, four drops of frankincense and eight drops of bergamot. There's a lot of oils there, guys, but I did this and, you know, inhaling it, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful, I mean. So this is a wonderful oil. You can actually mix it up in a, um, 
an inhaler. So I just showed a, a picture of that here. So you can see the inhaler. So these, these inhalers come in kits. You can get um, little, um, there's big ones and small Lids ones. For it. And there's a little bit of a cotton um, inside wick, wick, wick in yeah. there. You just put your oil on that wick. And it should last you quite a while. Yep. And the, this uh, this bigger cap goes on the on, on the smaller cap, and so yeah. you just open the inhaler and, and sniff. And <laughs> sniff. Yeah. I'm not saying put it up your nose. It's just, it's just to, to I sniff. It. I don't know. And I've it, seen people put it up their it, nose. <laughs> it's just another way of um, taking your essential oils inter internally. Yeah. It's, it's aromatically. Uh, aromatically. That's what when I say internally, I mean aromatically. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, has that, has anybody used these before? Did you use these? Before? The little All right. sticks. All right, we we've we've had them in our home yeah, for, they're for fun. off and on for a while. And yeah, it's always good, you know, when cold and flu season comes, because that's the time when you want to boost immunity, and you know, if you have a cold and you just yeah. want to smell, or also uh, emotional. Mm -hmm. um, have someone that's trying to overcome some emotional. We're pretty lucky. Um, we haven't been sick during the cold flu season for years. So, yeah, we haven't done this uh, particular blend um, in the inhaler that I, I did this a uh, couple of days ago and it was beautiful. But, you know, for people that are just new to doTERRA and they're still, you know, working on boosting their immunity, this is fantastic. Has sure. anybody used these inhalers before? I think I know. I know Debbie Westcott has, but she's done a lot of make and take classes. I'm okay. Sure. All right. Yeah. Well, it's it, it is a good idea yeah. for a make and take class yeah. as well, especially around the winter time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So of course you can use the black pepper in your um, marinades and sauces, and that's beautiful. Um, you know why not? Yeah. Okay, so that's great. Really good for meats um, or any like sometimes um, salads as well. Um, again, it's just one drop or um, if it's a small dish, you know, less than a drop. Do you guys know how to do less than a drop? <laughs> Use a toothpick, guys. <laughs> Use a toothpick. So yeah. if, you're, if you're putting like cumin mm -hmm. or um, like black pepper mm -hmm. or oregano or oregano um, into your sauces and stuff, but you don't want it to be too spicy, instead of going a drop, just go less than a drop, which, you know, you just use a toothpick yeah. and... and you know, mix it up. just a little, yeah, little tiny bit. Yep. All right, so this is one of the main reasons why I use a black pepper for people is for smoking. So one drop under the tongue or on the tongue, um, and I would add clove oil to that too. Okay, so anytime um, you have any cravings or anxiety associated with uh, cigarette cravings, this will be a good um, thing to do for people. And you have to remember, they have to want to change. They have to want to um, quit to to do this. Because I know several of my friends said it didn't work. But, and I said, you don't want to change. So, <laughs> of course, it didn't work. They're diffusing work. <laughs> it for their husbands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aaron? Just, just to add to that one comment about smoking, we all know the harmful effects of smoking. But one other little... Um, tidbit that I learned from this Pittsburgh PA um, summit was that one inhale of a cigarette makes one quadrillion free radicals in your cells. So just one inhalation of tobacco, one quadrillion free radicals, which free radicals are horrible, horrible things in your body. So you don't even want to inhale that. That's right. One, one trillion? Or? One trillion. No, quad, no, quad trillion. So even more than trillion, quad trillion. So to put that in perspective, there's approximately 10 trillion cells in a human body. That's a lot. So that's, a, that's a lot. <laughs> yes. Yep, definitely. So you had the lifelong vitality uh, presentation, did you? Yes. Yeah. But this was this was actually from what Dr. Hill calls the um, nerd herd. That's what he affectionately calls them, the scientists. Mm -hmm. And so the one scientist was telling us all about this, and um, it was crazy. 
That's right. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So black pepper will help clean out your receptors and helps you um, crave those uh, cigarettes less. And of course, you have to want to heal. Um, I had a guy that actually was on um, addictive, uh, uh, what do you call that, drugs, um, illegal drugs. And he had five kids and his wife was like, you know, we really tried everything. And um, after they did this, they came back to me about three months later and they said, oh, he's, he's just quit cold turkey after he started doing this and he's been fine for three months already. Um, and I heard, last I heard was six months. And so I don't know, I haven't talked to them since, but that was awesome. That's pretty significant. Yeah, because he's like, I have kids. I want to fi fix myself and I've been trying and I haven't been able to do it. And sometimes it's just not... Um, you don't have that power anymore because you're so used to giving away that power that you've had uh, for so long. So that leads us on to the mind. But it makes it kind of makes sense that some aromatic, um, you know, scent will, can help with that. Yeah. Because a lot of people who are on drugs or on um, mm -hmm. like nicotine or something, you know, it's tied to an emotion. It's tied to uh, mm -hmm. memories and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's triggers in there. Yeah. Know their mind so. yeah that's right so now it leads us to the mind and this is i get excited about this because i feel like if you really want to heal permanently you need to go deep into the the mind the emotions and the spirit levels okay maybe before we go into that is anybody does anybody have a comment or anything any questions before we go on Okay, great. Okay. Again, guys, if, if you do think of any comments or you have questions, um, you can put them in the comment section at the bottom of that page that we're looking at. Yeah. On that jadebalden.com slash black pepper. Yeah. We, we read all of those. So. Mm -hmm. All righty. So Sorry, black pepper ahead. is the oil of unmasking. Okay. And it's exactly that unmasking. And you you know people that you think, oh, they're in denial or, you know, they kind of see, you know, what they're, um, they're bearing. So, you know, any form of addiction is a way of masking something, um, you know, masking your true self. Okay, because deep, deep inside, some of us feel like we're small, we're insignificant, we're unimportant and unloved. And so somehow, if we hide that, um, people won't know. But it's silly because people can see through that. Um, and sometimes the people that have buried it so deeply even they don't know that they have those things buried. So when I work with certain people, um, sometimes they, they are so unaware that, that, that they think everything is all good. I don't know why these things happen. But one really good sure sign of the existence of buried emotions and issues is your addictions. Okay, so that's a sign of something that's lacking within. So if you want to help somebody, just let them know that if they do want to do that, they need to be facing something that they've buried um, and they have to be ready to face it. Otherwise, um, yeah, it, it's not going to help them with their um, healing of the addiction. Okay, so um, when people have decided that, yes, they want to heal and they want to change, okay, they have to figure out some of the false beliefs um, that's underneath and what's there what they're really really hiding and one best uh, way to do this is to go back to their childhood and so during our childhood you know kids up to the age of about nine they can't tell the difference between doing something wrong and you know and it's doing something bad and them being bad so um, sometimes they just associate that with themselves and they've just decided that they're they're bad they're just not good anymore and uh, even as adults sometimes we minimize what um, what we experienced as a child but uh, the cells remember remember what has happened and remember the the scripts and the false beliefs that we've um, decided is us okay does this make sense is anybody lost <laughs> no okay so uh, when we hide and bury the less understood parts of ourselves long enough, um, we would divert that energy uh, to, you know, to negative, erratic, um, compulsive, addictive behavior. And that's why we have the addiction. So the expressed erratic, compulsive, addictive behaviors only mask 
for the unresolved aspects of our inner self. If you truly want to stop those behaviors, um, you know, we will dig deep and then we'll have to get to a point where we're a bit vulnerable. And um, this is where black pepper is fantastic because it really holds your hand and makes sure that you're okay, even though you're being vulnerable right now. And after we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we realize that we're just like every other human being. We have fears and we um, have faults and we have dark sides of us. And, you know, it's so interesting how black pepper is you know, taken um, and it's black. Because we, we do have some black dark side, but um, it doesn't mean and doesn't make us bad people. But as a child, we, we couldn't uh, tell the difference. And so we associate that with being bad. And so we don't want people to think that we're bad. Um, so we hide that. Okay. And, and, and parents um, kind of, you know, they, they have good intentions, but they, you know, sometimes they'll say that their child is bad. You know, you're, you're bad for doing that, but it's not the child that's, it's that's the bad. It's the action that the child the is action. bad. Yeah. So sometimes we, we learn that from, you know, the things we hear and the, mm -hmm. and experience as a child. And yeah. So we have to can, disconnect that. So you can uh, write down some of the things that you feel or, you know, you can help friends do this too. And, um, you know, allow yourself to feel vulnerable and find out what it is that uh, makes you feel like you're, you're not worthy or you're um, unloved. Okay. And slowly we allow ourselves to feel happiness and peace and love and intelligence. Um, when um, we, we find that and eliminate that and then replace it with these positive um, emotions. That's what black pepper does. If black pepper allows us to feel safe and um, to allow us to feel peace and light. Okay. Um, so you can actually replace those um, uh, harsh judge, uh, judgment of self with positive affirmations. So those can, false beliefs. False beliefs, yep. Um, so you can say things like, I have courage to be me. It's safe to resolve the dark side now and I'm free to be me. You know, you'll find that you will judge people less because you've stopped judging yourself. And, um, you know, you stop feeling that other people judge you too. So this is a fantastic oil uh, for that. Okay. So I want to stop here because I don't, I don't know if I made sense. <laughs> so you guys want to pop in and um, ask questions or make comments. You explained it well, just no questions. Okay, fantastic. So with the emotions, smell the oils, guys. Smell the black pepper. And you can look up the black pepper in the emotion book and just tell yourself, I'm safe. I'm, you know, free. I'm free to be me. Okay, it's okay for people to see my human side. And that's okay. All right, so keep smelling it until you feel that relief and your heart feels warm and um, uplifted. So what's your favorite way to use black pepper? Actually, I like to drink it. It just warms my tummy. <laughs> you put it in your water? Yeah, yeah, well, I put it in a capsule. And when do you take it, like mm -hmm. when you're? When I feel like it, when I feel like I need some more warmth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it smells really nice. It is, um, it's very lovely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so one time I um I helped my parents because they they they're not on any drugs or they're very healthy now, but I just had um a visit with them and I wanted to take good care of them. So I had both of them in like a soaking their feet in the the foot baths and I put black pepper on and then I thought oh might as well put uh, cilantro on and might as well do this. And after a while I was thinking, I'm marinating that feet because it seems like it's just food, all this food. And they're like, whatever you're doing, this is great. <laughs> so, but it does, it really helps go in there. Mm -hmm. Soften things up a little bit, helps their heart um, just feel warm. So that leads me on to the spirit, okay? It's the last section This here. is, yeah, I'm all about this. <laughs> okay, with the black pepper, it helps you, remember we talked about being judgmental, okay? It helps you review your beliefs. So we remember our beliefs lead to um, thoughts and thoughts lead to feelings and lead, feelings lead to actions. 
So sometimes we know that these actions are bad. But we don't know how to fix it. If you have friends with addiction, they really want to change it. We need to help them go back all the way to their beliefs. And their beliefs need to be good beliefs, not false beliefs. Good beliefs means that they're a child of God. They're not bad. They're not broken. And they're not worthless. Okay, They're not deficient in any way. God didn't make rubbish. Okay, and so they have to understand that belief. And once they see that and love and accept themselves as God would, you know, <laughs> their heart will warm up and they will understand and learn to love themselves more. And learn to start rewiring their mm -hmm. responses. And yep. And when we stop um, judging self, hating self and loathing self, okay, we stop that pride because that's basically what it is. It's not humility. A lot of people think that if they go, oh, I'm so stupid or whatever, they think that's being humble. It's not being humble. It's actually being prideful, okay? Because you're taking over God's job. You have decided to judge yourself and condemn yourself midway through your journey. You haven't, you're not done with your journey yet on earth, but you've decided that you're no good, okay? So that's pride. Right, humility is allowing God to teach you who you are, what you can do in this world. All right, so I didn't recognize this until recently, until actually I worked with, uh, um, with Black Pepper and I realized that, hey, a lot of us don't even know that we have this pride within us. Um, and so this here helps us get out of that. All right, so anytime we feel self-love, we don't have the urge to hurt ourselves further by using substance and other things that are harmful to our bodies, okay? And then we actually allow ourselves to be real. So you allow yourself to, to um, see all the vulnerabilities and share that with people. When you share that, you connect to other humans. And then when we're connected, we're united, we're one, okay? So I do some um, muscle testing, energy healing with people. And there are people that say, how, how are you able to like connect like this? How did you know all that stuff? It's because I understand that we're all, you know, children of God, that we're all linked and connected. Um, we're all loved in the same way, okay? And once you allow that, you realize that, hey, we're, we're all the same. And it makes it so easy to connect with people. Okay, so does that make sense, everyone? Okay. Amen. <laughs> okay, so black pepper goes in, warms your soul, helps you love yourself. Okay, so we just need to remember and believe that God loves you unconditionally. You don't have to have proven yourself in any way. We're just still on a journey. We're still in the middle of it all. Um, so no need to condemn yourself to, I don't know, outer darkness now or <laughs> whatever it is. Okay, so we can heal from every, everything emotionally and everything spiritually. So if we've done something that is, is not aligned to, um, to what we feel like God would be happy with, this black pepper helps you go in and say, accept that I made a boo-boo and I'm going to allow that refining fire, which is, you know, the hot, the heat, to, to clean that out and uh, to help me be new again, okay? So that's, that's the wonderful thing about uh, what uh, black pepper can do for people. And uh, yeah, when you stop judging yourself, you feel very free and somehow you don't have the urge to judge other people too because they're in the middle of their journey too. Alrighty, so that's it. <laughs> I don't have much more to say. Um, so there's a bunch of writing here that you can um, read and share <laughs> with your friends. But that's pretty much it. You know, you see the threads of your life all the yuckies. When you look back, um, God has tied it all up and put it neatly in a tapestry that, that helps you be you. Okay. So that's it for the spirit of uh, yep. pepper. Yep, and here's our... So there is a um, top 10 uh, uses for black pepper we've prepared for you. You can download the PDF there. So, yeah. Any questions about black pepper? We'll go, we'll go ahead and wrap up our black pepper discussion. Yes, Erin? <laughs> I guess I'm going to be the only one speaking tonight. Um, right. We appreciate your input. Okay, so there was this new thing 
also that I learned at the summit. And it's called Oil Hacks. I don't know if you've heard of it yet. I guess it's this new thing on Facebook that the diamonds and above have decided to do with doTERRA. But is there any oil hacks that you have for black pepper? What do you mean by oil, oil hacks? Something that um, is basically not, say, in books or on the label to use it in that way, but that you over the, year, the years have noticed works for you. I think perhaps all of these would fall into that category as oil hacks. I was thinking more of like non-therapeutic uses of essential oils, like because um, when I teach a oils for men class, yeah, I teach about some oil hacks, um, like using lemon oil to um, uh, or melaleuca to clean the car batteries, using lemon oil to get sticky residue off of mm -hmm. glass surfaces. Um, I, I find those kind of fascinating. That's Non yep, that's exactly what oil hacks are, Ben. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So not if they're non-therapeutic, I think most of what we're talking about here are therapeutic uses, mm -hmm. um, uses for your body. Um, yeah. But non-therapeutic uses for black pepper? Hmm. Hmm. I, I haven't thought of any. I, I, I just keep on thinking about black pepper steak, you know? <laughs> I think that would be, that's what I was thinking of the whole time Jay was talking about marinades. <laughs> <laughs> you're stuck there. <laughs> but that, still, that's, I think there's a therapeutic benefit you're getting from that, even though it's, because, you know, essential oils, sometimes they're used for perfume, sometimes used for food enhancers, flavors, mm -hmm. whether or not they have therapeutic uses. It just so happens that the grade of essential oils that we're using and we're talking about also have therapeutic benefits um, for us as well. So, mm -hmm. But I can't think of any um, no. non-therapeutic oil hacks. No. That's really interesting. That's, we'll have to look that up, oil hacks. Yeah. Yes, so you'll have to maybe add like a little bit to every single one of these things. Maybe think of some <laughs> oil hacks of how you use it. Because there were so many, and I guess this has brought on um, even more people thinking about all these oil hacks. I mean, someone was talking about what to use, like instead of armor all for cars, like to clean the <laughs> dash and things. And oh, have an oil like for, that now for real. <laughs> that, that might be outside the scope of our, you know. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying, like a little thing of oil hacks. It's just fun. Yeah, yes, it is. I, I definitely fun. agree. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Thank you so I'm much. I'm gonna Aaron. stop the recording because it's been. An Any, hour. Anybody else have any questions or anything before we stop? Because we can chat afterwards if people are shy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, feel free to reach out, guys, and always um, you can post your comments and questions at the bottom here. Thank you so much for being here. Even you know we want to make it welcoming that yes. um, you can join the call, and you know sometimes people just want to listen in and participate in that way, and they. Yeah. That's totally and, fine. and we're happy to do that. And I, I've when we started this, these online classes, I, I taught a few of these without anybody speaking, saying anything. And there was a couple of classes we had where it was just me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're grateful that you're here and grateful that you're participating. And we know that there's a lot of people that are listening to the podcast as well. So thank you. All right, we're going to go ahead and stop the recording for now. I can find that button. <laughs> Where did I put that button?